y'all have been watching my stories on Instagram, you know that I had my second COVID vaccination on Friday. Toward yesterday evening, I started feel, feeling a little bit crummy. I ended up with, um, I think my temp only went up to like 99, so it was super low grade. And I had a little bit of joint pain, um, just like in my hips and in the shoulder. Um, and that's really been about it. So I've fared pretty well. Today I feel totally normal now. Uh, so I think that's over, but I wanted to share with y'all. I um, went to Sam's with the family this morning. Yes, we wore masks. And um, this is a $700 um, grocery haul. So I was just gonna show you kind of what we got um, so you could see. So let me flip this around. These kids are obsessed with Totino's pizza rolls. We get them there because it's 160 of them. We normally buy them at HEB, but obviously buying them in bulk is so much cheaper. So we got some of those. We buy Tide in bulk. One of the things that we did recently stop buying is Downy. So we used to always have to buy this Tide and a container of Downy. However, we ended up getting the dryer balls on Amazon. You get four balls for I think it was like five or six dollars and that has done very well for us and you know a bottle of downy like this is a good um like it, I think it's between 25 and 30 dollars so cutting that out of our expenses has been very helpful and it really does the same job so we've been able to just get this which I'm so happy with um we got some corn well I don't eat corn because I don't like how it looks when it comes out um my kids love it, so <laughs> um, we bought corn. Now, the one thing that Sam's has stopped really carrying, we used to always get corn, green beans, um, peas, carrots, things like that, but really all they have now is corn and green beans, and we have a lot of green beans right now. So we passed on that this time, but we did get our corn. We also got some ground turkey meat. So we very, very rarely buy beef and we try to stick to ground turkey. The kids like it. We use it for hamburger helper, tacos, spaghetti meat, all that kind of stuff. So anything that you can put ground beef in, we substitute with ground turkey. Every once in a blue moon for special occasions, we will um, grill up some meat for some burgers, things like that. But generally we stick to ground turkey. And this would last us... So there's two and a half pounds in here. So my husband cuts it in three and there's two containers. So this will be good for six meals for us. So totally worth it. And then normally we get some chicken breast, but we have some that we bought at the grocery store the other day. So this time my husband bought some chicken thighs. Um, and most of this stuff, y'all, you can package up and freeze. So that's what we do with this turkey meat over here. We will divide it up. We have freezer paper. We package it up and freeze it. Um, we have two refrigerator freezer combos outside too. So we have a lot of uh, fridge and freezer space for our home. And um, we found that just buying this meat at Sam's is definitely the best way to go for us. Um, we also went ahead and bought some granulated garlic. And then we found these over there too. This one is a buttery steakhouse rub. It's a nice big container. It shows you can use it on beef, chicken, fish, and vegetables. And from the same company, we also bought this one, which is buttery garlic and herb. And it shows you can use it on chicken, pork, fish, and vegetables. So something yummy to try. We got some more mustard because we eat a lot of sandwiches around here. We also eat a lot of hot dogs. <laughs> I've told you that before, so don't come at me. Yes, my children are gonna turn into hot dogs, I get it. Um, but we eat a lot of hot dogs, so we use a lot of mustard. And my husband and my older son love barbecue sauce. Um, I'm not a huge fan, but they use it for different things. So um, they bought some of this in bulk because this is one that they really like. And then y'all, this is kind of become our new favorite uh, pasta sauce. It is Rouse, it is a little bit more expensive, um, but this stuff is so good. And I first heard about it when I was watching Amber Lancaster. Um, on social media and she raved about it for about a year and we found some and decided to try it and y'all it is amazing so we've always used Prego I still love Prego but Rouse has a totally different flavor it's a lot lighter and it doesn't give me as much acid reflux so I really really like it um, 
and the kids love it. So we'll be, we are able to use more things or make more things with pasta sauce because they really, really like this. Rouse also has, they have a whole bunch of different types. At the grocery store, you can find like four cheese, Alfredo, they have everything. Um, and they also do pizza sauce. So sometimes we'll get that to do our homemade pizzas. Um, so we got two of those. I went ahead and bought this for the baby. Um, you know, I think I told y'all before that he's still on formula just for bedtime because he has to have, it's like really weird. He's into that where he's gotta be sucking on a bottle to go to bed so he won't take a sippy cup at night. Um, and he had had a milk allergy for a really long time, but we think that that has resolved because he's been able to eat a lot more dairy-based products and he hasn't had any issues. So the doctor said around 18 months he should be okay. Um, so she wanted us to try him again. Um, on milk-based items to see if he's outgrown it, and I believe that he has. So uh, we went ahead and got him this toddler formula to try to get him more of the nutrients, because I don't feel like with the baby formula that he's drinking that he's really getting the nutrients that he needs. And it's okay because this is cheaper by like $10 a bottle or a container, um, so that's awesome. <laughs> um, one of the other things that we got is these rolls here. They're six in here. They're like little mini French bread rolls. Um, my husband will use them for, um, he might take a roll and cut it up and make garlic bread for pasta, or they cut them in half and um, he'll make sandwiches for him and the boys. Um, and so they'll eat those. These do go bad pretty quick, so they'll have to be used by this week, so he'll probably have to pre-prep pre some sandwiches and things like that, but they're totally worth it. Um, we also got some thin spaghetti. There's six boxes of thin spaghetti, which is good for us for six meals. The kids love go-go squeeze, and y'all at the grocery store, it's really expensive, so I generally buy like off-brand, but the kids always taste the difference, so uh, we went ahead with the go-go squeeze variety pack and they love this one so all of our kids have a different favorite flavor and this is the only place we can find it and so we always buy two uh, because they go through it like crazy and colton loves them too so we have all four kids eating them there's only 28 pouches in there so that goes pretty fast when they eat like one a day um so we got that um we also have been going through kleenex lately um, everybody has the runny nose. We're getting ready to have a big Arctic blast here in Houston. They're talking about later this week that we're going to be in the 20s and that will be the highs during the weekday as well. So um, we might be needing this. So I figured I would stock up. Um, something else that we always buy in bulk is diapers. So um, we moved Colton up to the next size. These are size five diapers. Um, so we buy those at Sam's as well because we have to use them here at home and we also have to take them to daycare for him. So here is something that is a huge breakfast favorite in my house is these Jimmy Dean croissant sausage egg and cheese sandwiches. There are 12 in here. They're very big um, and my kids will usually eat them in the mornings before school or before class. Um, I love these turkey sausages. They are so good. And I used to buy them in a bag at the grocery store, but I haven't seen them in probably about, I would say two months. I haven't seen the bag. So I went ahead and bought them. Um, again, we try to stick to turkey as much as possible. These do not have turkey. This is actual sausage, um, like beef sausage. Um, but this one is turkey patty. So we also buy our butter in bulk. This is so cheap at Sam's, I think it's like three dollars or something, three dollars and something cents for this big thing. This will last us usually, um, I guess, depends on how often we use it. But when my husband's cooking all the time, um, it'll last us about two months. But sometimes, if we're not using it very often, it can, it can last us anywhere between um, three and four months for this big tub of butter. So, um, something that's really nice. And y'all, so you know, I'm trying to get into Young Living, I'm waiting for them to have one specific. Um, um, oil thing. I don't even know what it's called, but um, in stock. So it's like the little diffuser thing. And so until they have it, I'm sticking with my plugins. So that's what I have right now. We're trying to get away from chemical based items, but right now, again, I haven't been able to get into Young Living yet because they don't have what I want right now. But as soon as they do, I'm, I'm getting it. But for now, we got Clean Linen, which I love for the Glade plugins. And then this one is one that I have never smelled before. Um, and it's sheer vanilla. It is so nice. 
And so I have some plugins around my house that are singles and then I have some that are doubles. And so I combine them. So I try to get stuff that goes well together and these two go well together. So um, we got one of each of those so I can replace all of my plugins. And then my husband has a sweet tooth and so we needed to get some of these for him. They've never had them in the double stuff and mega stuff. So um, I got that for him. I'm not a huge Oreo person, yeah, I'm weird. Um, here we have some sandwich bags. We live on those. And then this, my husband is a meal prepper. And so we found these, it's 100 pieces, so it's 50 bottoms and 50 tops. And uh, they're disposable, they're reusable, so whatever you wanna do. Um, but my husband is totally into making large meals and then going ahead and prepping them for the week. So that way we can either grab them when we're on our way to work or we can grab them at night to heat up really fast and it's not a big deal. Here's another thing. So these are like, this big bag of potatoes is like $4 at Sam's. And so my husband has also totally been into making mashed potatoes from scratch instead of using the instant mashed potatoes. He hates instant mashed potatoes because to him, they never work or come out the way that they're supposed to, even if he follows the directions. <laughs> so he prefers this. I actually like it too because they taste fresher. Um, and his mashed potatoes when he uses these are fabulous so um we say that is a-okay with me and so the reason that this was 700 dollars is because we went ahead so we bought a dyson vacuum about 10 years ago and it has finally gone kaput we use it almost every day and so um i'm going crazy here because right now we're using our handheld like dust buster vacuum and i can't clean my entire house with that so this was on super sale for almost a hundred dollars off at sam's and it was the cheapest we have ever seen it i think it was um it was either 200 and i think it was 220 dollars something like that and so we went ahead and we purchased it because again we had our other one for 10 years and um with four kids in the house and the dust in the air in Houston all the time. Um, our house has to be cleaned usually daily. But I also like to suck all of the vents clean all the time. And so right now you can tell that we have not done it in a little bit of time since our vacuum is broken. So we went ahead and got this. Um, I know that when these things first came out, we had bought one, a different brand. I think we bought a Sharp and I did not like it because I felt like it was big and bulky. And so that, but it was the same time, like I said, 10 years ago that we went back and we bought the regular vacuum with the ball. Um, so we decided to give this one a try now because it is cordless. It is, it looks like it is versatile. And um, so I'm hoping that it's gonna be something that we like. If not, we will return it. So anyway. No that is some of the stuff that we buy. Um, this is not at all our normal um, haul or our whole haul. Majority of the stuff is stuff that we do buy. However, we usually buy a lot more cold stuff and a lot more um, snacks and things like that. So next time I go and don't buy a vacuum cleaner, <laughs> I will do another haul so that way I can show you some of the regular items that we buy, like when we get milk and eggs and creamer and all that other kind of stuff. We usually buy stuff to make sandwiches, um, cheeses, all that good stuff. And so we didn't necessarily get all that today because we didn't need it right now. But I will try to do another one whenever I do go for that type of haul. And that way y'all can see even more of the stuff that we usually buy. So I hope y'all have a wonderful Sunday and obviously my kids need me, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> but I will talk to y'all again soon. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button, share with your friends. Let me know what you wanna see more of. I am excited to hear from y'all and enjoy the rest of your weekend. And Bye. It's good to see your love for me is dead, dead, dead. And I want you to know. I'ma let you go.